I'm going to do some random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong. This is kind of a what would you do scenario. I do four random pulls and I try to figure out where I can find score for those particular tiles. If you're new to Mahjong, give this exercise a try if you have a set at home. If you don't have a set yet, I'll provide a link below the video where you could get one. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. As I said, we'll do four random pulls. We'll do one for each wind of the round. So I have a wind of the round indicator here. We'll start with east round. And I'm just going to roll these dice to sort of randomize where we might be seated. So I rolled an eight. That would put us in seat four, which is north. As a non-dealer, we get 13 tiles. We're in seat four, and we actually have our seat flower. We have another one here too. That's a number two flower, south flower. We're not gonna get score for that one, but we will get score for this one because we're in seat four. So let's get two replacements. So we have one, one fawn for our flower. And I think for the rest here, we have a pair, but we do have some chow potential. I think I would try all chow, which is a three in a sequence. We have a potential here, three, five. So we need a four crack there. This is isolated. Here we have a potential chow with a six, eight, an eight, nine, a three, five, and a six, eight. So I would throw these away and maybe try to get a pair here or really anywhere in here. We have one, two, three, four, five potential chows. You need four sets and a pair. So the sets could either be three in a sequence, which is called a chow, or three of a kind. So here's a potential chow, uh, potential chow before. So I split those up into two potential chows, but we could let that be the pair and maybe pair these up for other chows, perhaps. So one, two, three chows. Yeah, I think what I would do though, I would leave it the way it was and then just try to pair one of these up. One, two, three, four, five potential chows. Because if we use this for our pair, these are too far apart. So you kind of have to map it out and then of course picking and discarding one tile at a time you can better your standing so i would try for all chow nonetheless we're going to do south round now this time let's say we're in east seat For East, we get 14 tiles because they start the game by discarding. We have an East, which is the seat wind, but there's only one of them. And then we have a red dragon. I think I would try for a, a all chow here too. Here's a pair. That's, uh, these are actually all isolated. They're all too far apart. That one is two. Here's a pair. Here's a potential chow. Here's a potential chow. Maybe what we should do is let this be the potential chow. So we have, instead of a pair here, we can match it up with the three and have a potential chow there. So we have one, two, three potential chows and a pair. So we would definitely need to draw in here to try to make another chow. So there is some potential there. I would try for all chow. So we would have to discard these or let the, one of those be the pair. But I would, I would discard those because there's a lot more flexibility with number tiles. Right now we have no flowers. No flowers is a fawn. So this would be a two fawn hand if we played all chow and no flowers.
west round. We'll be in east seat again. We have two flowers, three flower, those won't count because we're in seat one, but we do get replacements. Ooh, there's a pair of green dragons. If we pung that, that's a fawn right there. For these tiles, I think I would try for a half flush. So a half flesh would be three fawn plus a dragon pung. That would be four fawn. And we do have chow potential in here, right there and right here. So I would discard these and then collect bams, try to pair up the honors and play a half flesh. North round, last random pull. I rolled a 10, which would be south. Okay, with this time we have no honors and no flowers. So here I would play all chow. We have one, here's a pair, potential chow, potential chow, pair, potential chow. These are isolated. Or we could have this be the potential chow. So we would definitely need to draw here to kind of make these tiles useful but we do have one, two, three potential chows and a pair. So I think what I would do, I'd probably dis discard these bams first. If I drew in cracks and honors, I would try for a half flush, which is a higher scoring hand. All chows is the lowest scoring hand, but any win is a good win. So all chow or, or a flush, half flush, if we can draw cracks, I would throw these away first. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try and let me know if it helps your confidence. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.